are obsessed with me. Episode 30 You're rather late. So have you found out what killed the assassin? The assassin. It's strange that he fell only to a cut on his hand. And the reaction he had when he fell resembled the way I died from your blood. I may be wrong, but, perhaps, your family's blood is being traded somewhere. He was suffering from malnutrition. He also had signs of frostbite on the tips of his fingers and toes. Sounds like the assassin was from Schwartz. But please be sure to make a full report next time. He woke up in the middle while we were transporting him. It scared us, you know. He died shortly thereafter, but... He definitely looked dead when I saw him though. Well, it was my mistake. Cause of death? His dagger was coated with serpent poison. I also found poison on the back of his mauler. Both kinds are lethal, but they're slow to take effect. It's rather strange that he collapsed so suddenly. Could they take effect differently depending on the person? Yes, but it seems he was exposed to both kinds at the same time. Normally, one doesn't take effect faster than the other. He didn't suffer any concussion either. Why did he collapse? It's a mystery. His death had nothing to do with our blood. He died from a different kind of poison. That man. Even though his dagger was coated with lethal poison, it's strange he fell so quickly. He only had a dagger when he attacked us. And considering the fact that he charged at us himself. Just in case. With the Lapillians, there are only a few indirect descendants. We also interrogate them every month in case our secret gets out. And certainly none in our family would seek profit through such means. How can you be so certain of that? Then what about you? How can you be so certain? Our family profits from our blood, is that what you're trying to say? That's not what I meant. If the Lapillian's poison is what killed me in my past life, it's likely that someone sold their blood. Now their blood doesn't work on me, probably because I've already completely died from their poison once before. However, even if I told him about what happened to me, would he believe it? Even I couldn't be certain about it. The investigation must be over now, but why do you keep coming back home so late? It's because you also suspect something, isn't it? It would be fortunate if I were mistaken, but what would you do if it turns out I'm right? You shouldn't be turning away from this matter. It's been a week since then. Normally, he would always come back home, albeit late. But now, he's not even coming back. He must be somewhere far away. I don't see his grace these days. I hope I'm wrong. But if his family's blood really is being traded, we should stop it. And we're not even close, but we ended up fighting. So that's the Zahart residence. Your Grace. Uncle. Please have a seat. It's been a while since I've been in this room. Please, no need to be so formal when we're alone. All right. We have a lot of paperwork left for you, Parashady. 
You have no idea how long I've been waiting for you to come back. After all that confusion since your father's sudden death, things are finally getting settled. You've been through so much. You too, uncle. And the business I told you about last time, I want to try it now. Oh, you mean the welfare benefits your father used to provide? Yes, and I made a few adjustments. I want it to proceed as it is written here. The welfare system in the Grand Dukedom was surprisingly robust, which was of great help to me. I've already checked my plan with Bach many times, so there shouldn't be any major problems. Parashady, I'm filling in for you since you asked for a favor. But I wish to return home soon. And I'm worried that what happened in the parade might repeat itself. Of course, I'm glad that you've become a Grand Duchess, but... Please hold on just a little longer. You won't have to keep doing this. I promise. By the way, your stepmother's creditors keep on coming to our house these days. It's none of our concern, but perhaps you should go pay her a visit. Episode 31 I was just... I was only trying to help a friend. And who told you to go that far? It's dangerous, can't you see? Don't ever do that again. I didn't do anything wrong. Huh. I was only following you. You. But you're my family. Huh. You need to learn to be more selfish from now on. I've always looked up to you. It's been a while. I've been so worried about you. How are you feeling? You seem to have grown rather thin. I heard Schiff tried to do you harm. Worry not. No noble knows of that incident. That delusional imbecile lacked talent and status, and yet he thought too highly of himself. At least he came to learn his place before his death. Oh, and did you know? Reyna is now working for Princess Dodolia. Yes. Believe me, it's not because we wished to antagonize you. We understand that the situation between Her Highness and the Grand Duke is rather complicated. But we had no choice, you see. We learned that Schiff had been borrowing large sums of money in Reyna's name, and now we're in some financial trouble. Reyna is trying her best to deal with this. After all, we can't blame her for being deceived. I'm sure she didn't know Schiff could do something so despicable. I couldn't care less about such things anymore. So, what brings you here today? I know we are not as close as we used to be. But I don't understand how you came to distrust me so. I wasn't the first to turn my back. What do you mean? With Schiff, of course. I admit I shouldn't have approved your marriage with Schiff. With Schiff, of course. I admit I shouldn't have approved your marriage with Schiff. Did he say anything strange to you? Please don't tell me you believe his nonsense. Mother. Please, enough. I know that is not all. And I understand that we can't be a true family. What? 
What have I ever done so wrong to you? I haven't done anything wrong. Oh, you know exactly why. Huh. Huh. So, is this how you are going to be, really? I understand. Be careful now, child. Only the weak chase after illusions. And that's exactly what your father did. He neglected those who were close to him and only cared about helping others. That's when his name as the Count grew weak. I... I disagree. Helping others is exactly what we need to do. Like father, like daughter. I can't see her face. As I thought, we cannot be together any longer. Was it really because of money? And why did she tell me everything in the end? It's as if making me suffer was her motive. There must be another reason I don't know yet. What happened between her and my father? Mom. I'm sorry. I know you told Shif to stay still. I didn't know he would go that far. I'll repay the debt, I promise. So, enough. None of it matters anymore, 